In this video, I'm going to share an amazing tool with you that you can use in conjunction with DAL E3. This helps you generate some very impressive looking print on demand graphics without even having to write any prompts. And you can even drag and drop multiple designs into this tool. It will scan them and write an entire listing for them all in bulk. The tool is called POD Buddy and it was made by none other than Tom, the owner of DGB.LOL. I know a few viewers of the channel will know him. And basically, you can follow the link in the description to get to this tool right here inside of ChatGPT. And then I would recommend clicking on Docs because that will show you how this tool works. It will give you some instructions and ideas of what to do. The POD body essentially has a few different functions that are extremely useful for us POD sellers. For example, the first one would be just type a simple text and POD body will create a cool design for you. No need for detailed explanations. So it always sticks to a print on demand style. You just have to give it a few simple keywords. The second option also super, super powerful. Simply drop an image without any text and POD body will provide you with the title, tags and description suitable for any POD website. And you can do this with multiple images at once. You can literally drag like five or 10 in and it will write a listing for these. And this one, the third option is also pretty cool. New ideas on demand. So you can tell it to essentially suggest new ideas for a certain topic and then it will come up with a list of these ideas and you can tell it to generate option one, two, three, whatever you want and it will create images based on those ideas. So let's start off with just generating some graphics without much prompting. So the first thing I want to do is create a donut that is sort of an American style. So use a themed donut and that's literally it. You don't have to do anything else. POD body will think for a little while and then start creating the image. And there we go. I think that result looks really, really good. Definitely see this working as a sticker or with some text also on a t-shirt. We also get a title right here, keywords, description, and it even asks you, would you like to customize this design for a specific platform like Etsy or Merch by Amazon? So you could say, yes, please, for Merch by Amazon, enter that and then it will change these things about. And now we've got a new title, keywords and description that have been adjusted to appeal to Merge by Amazon adhering to their best practices for optimization. That's really cool. And you can quickly copy any of these right here to your clipboard, and then obviously paste them into your listing or somewhere else where you save your listing data. Let's also try a different type of graphic like um, a vintage sunset with a speedboat perhaps. Let's see what that looks like if it is going to be still in the in the print on demand style. There we go, that definitely looks really, really good. I don't like that it's bleeding off the edge right here. That could be fixed quite easily in Illustrator or Photoshop afterwards. But overall, the aesthetic of this graphic is definitely very, very POD-like. Let's try one last prompt right here, maybe with a bit of text this time. So we could do unicorn riding a giraffe perhaps with text and what do we put right here? Maybe just feeling magical and hit enter. Now it does say right here, does give a warning that this content may violate our content policy. Nevertheless, POD Buddy is still creating the image. Uh, maybe this is a sort of a workaround that they've implemented. Wow, and there we go, definitely very good graphic for print on demand. Easy to remove the background right here. Feeling magical, spelt correctly, and I like how it's on this ribbon. It definitely looks like a very girly, childish design that could work on a sticker, on a t-shirt, many other applications, a, a mug as well, for sure. So very impressive results with this sort of first option of POD Buddy. Um, and let's sort of test this second one, which is dragging and dropping images into this so it writes a description or a listing for you. So I've gone ahead and dropped five images right here into the chat box, as you can see. And now I'm going to just send this message and see what POD Buddy says. So these are the designs I've chosen, something hiking, um, sort of a classic airplane, unicorn and a giraffe again, motorboat and the donut. And uh, here we go. The listing is kicking off. The first one is for the vintage airplane image. Got a classic propeller airplane retro flight design. Here's some keywords, vintage airplane, classic aircraft, retro fly propeller plane, old fashioned aviation. Wow, these keywords are actually really, really good. 
nostalgic air travel, you can tell that it's actually understood the image and it's giving you very relevant keywords right there, which is brilliant. It even has pilot gift, which is a good keyword in my opinion for this design that wouldn't really be too obvious I suppose but yeah very happy with this first listing the description I think sometimes it's still a bit you know descriptive in that chat GPT style where it's very fancy words and filler words but overall this still encapsulates some good keywords and gives you a good starting point like perfect for aviation enthusiasts and collectors ideal for air show memorabilia or a pilot's gift so there is some really good keywords in this description as well as the title as well so that is just the first one now we've got the hiking design as well hike more worry less by the way i'm not checking any of these listings for trademarks you would still have to do that afterwards i'm pretty sure that you know pod buddy isn't trained on the entire use bto database so always check for trademarks before using any outputs hike more worry less nature design serene mountain forest backdrop calm nature adventure hiking theme, tranquil scenery. You can tell it it's kind of going a bit uber descriptive. I would maybe use some different keywords right here that are more related to hiking. For that design, Nature Lovers is quite a good one, mountain illustration. They're not bad, they're really good to help fill out your listings. You might have to still add a few extra ones, but overall, this is a massive time saver. This only took about a minute, and now it's also asking if we want it to be adjusted for a specific platform. So if you're selling on Etsy, you can tell it to rewrite these for Etsy, for example, and then you just save yourself an extra step as well. Really, really cool tool, and this is only the second thing that you can do with it. Now I'll also show you the third option that you have, which is sort of generating more design ideas. So let's type suggest 10 new ideas for the topic of hiking, perhaps. Let's do that as an example. And I've spelt it wrong. That is unfortunate. Let's see what it does. It has correct the spelling right there and picked up on that. Let's see what we've got. Mountain silhouettes with inspirational quotes. The mountains are calling and I must go. That's a good one. We'll type in at the bottom, please generate options one comma and then whatever we like we'll add to this list so hiking boot print with trail names a design featuring the imprint of a hiking boot filled with famous trail names or coordinates that is a really cool idea i, I can't imagine that dally 3 is going to properly put out all of the trail names and coordinates but i want to see what that looks like and it's an idea for a design that you might do, you know, manually, the old fashioned way, create an illustrator or with the designer, if, if you have a designer you can outsource it to. So that's a cool idea. Nature wildlife collage, a collage showcasing animals and plants commonly encountered on hikes, such as deer, birds and woodflowers. Yep, cool idea. Humorous hiking sayings, I hike therefore I am, or hiking is my therapy. Okay, two different phrases. Hiker silhouette with a sunset backdrop. Okay, we'll try that one for sure. That does sound very POD centric. Retro hiking poster style. A vintage post design featuring mountains, forests, and hikers reminiscent of classic national parks. Okay, so it does also suggest things for other products, not just t shirts. That is good to know. And we've even got a hiking gear pattern down here. So let's actually add that as well. So we'll add nine to the list and then just hit enter on this. And now it will go through these one by one and create the associated image. So just this one list for the niche of hiking has given me some cool ideas and we can even now get some designs back which might be usable, they might not, but again, it's a starting off point and definitely gets the juices flowing. So the mountains are calling and I must go, not spelled correctly, but the graphic does look quite interesting. I would probably regenerate this and try a different style if it was me, but again, that sort of style, I could definitely see it selling on a t-shirt if the text was spelled correctly. Here we've got the hiking boot, and I do like the idea of this a lot. Obviously the text is all wrong, and it's not actually featuring famous hiking trails, but I could see this working if it's done properly, and yeah, it could probably work on a t-shirt quite well. Here we've got the sunset design, it's got very vibrant colors, there's not too many mountains in this. As far as I can tell, the hiker is very obviously a hiker, so that's definitely a bonus. Easy to remove the background right here and work with this in a design, but I would have liked to see some more mountains. This poster style, that looks amazing. Yeah, if you change the text around for this, it could also work as a sticker. Really cool design, this. Definitely very POD in its look. And here we've got the pattern at the bottom. Interesting, I don't think it repeats, or does it? 
No, it doesn't look like it does repeat to me. No, no, it almost looks like it on some cases, like this shoe over here and this shoe sort of the end, but I don't think this is a repeating pattern, but it still gives you some objects to work with if you want to add them to your designs. So that's pretty cool. Definitely try that out to generate new ideas and lots of different design styles very, very quickly. Save yourself some time and help get designs that stand out. If you're using DAL E3 for print on demand, I highly recommend checking out this video next where I share 10 different prompts with you that will give you some amazing results.